In this video, I want to show you how to use the custom toolbar in Filmora. So if you look right above the tracks here, there is a toolbar here. So you can actually add a bunch of tools on here. And if you go all the way to the right, you're going to see that there are some default tools that are already built onto here. Now, if you look at the left side here, there's going to be this button here, which is a custom toolbar button that you can click on. And this is going to present to you with all the tools that you can add to this toolbar here. Okay. Now, the first thing you can do here, you can actually rearrange the tools on the toolbar. So if I wanted uh, this crop uh, tool to be the first thing that I see on this bar, I can click, drag, and put it exactly where I want it to be, right? I can move these around. So let's say I use uh, some of these tools uh, more often than other ones. I can go ahead and add these on here, okay? So you can move them around, right? So these are the tools that I'll use. Let's say I want this over here. So you can just rearrange everything on here. Now, the next thing you can do is you can actually delete uh, tools from this uh, toolbar here. So let's say I didn't want uh, this text tool to be on the toolbar. I can click, drag, and drop it in here. Somewhere in here, just drop it in there. It's going to be removed from the timeline. So you can do the same thing here. So I want to remove this one. I want to remove this one. So you can literally remove everything here by clicking dragging and dropping in the toolbox here. Okay. Click drag and drop in the toolbox. Now, if you wanted to add tools on here that aren't on here, so let's say I want to add uh, this uh, slide edit uh, tool. I can click drag and drop it anywhere on the toolbar here. As you can see, you can see it move around this. I want to drop it here at the end. I want to add the text to speech. I can even rearrange it if uh, that's something that I want to do. Okay. So that's how you're going to be able to do this. So let's say that you have uh, rearranged and added and removed all the tools that you need. You can go ahead and hit save. Now, this is going to save your custom toolbar. Okay. Now, one of the cool things you can actually do if you go back into the toolbox, uh, you actually have the ability to reset everything, right? Let's say you want to go back to the default. You can go ahead and hit this reset button here. So click on reset. This is going to reset this to the original settings. Now, you you can go back in here and you can do the same thing that I showed you how to do rearranging this, moving tools around and customizing. Let's say I just wanted to add everything on the timeline. I'm just going to go ahead and hit save. So you can see everything is added on the timeline. Okay. Now that is pretty much it for this video. I'll see you guys on the next one.